everyone is enjoying a beautiful night. Welcome to Vietnam at night. Hello tribe, hello tribe, how are you, how are you doing? Uh, this is a little bit unorthodox, I'm actually coming to you from uh, Phuc Mi Beach in Da Nang, Vietnam. Da Nang, no, Vietnam. <laughs> da Nang, Vietnam. Vietnam, 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 right? Right? Vietnam, Vietnam, okay? Uh, a lot of people say Vietnam. It's not Vietnam. That's like uh, Vietnam. I know, <laughs> I know, I know. Vietnam. Um, it's been it's been a, a crazy week. I've been meaning to actually do this for uh, all week long because um, it's it's actually Friday here. We actually, and if you're if you're in America, we actually at almost almost uh, uh, 18 to 23 hours ahead of the U.S. in terms of time. So basically, um, when you when 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 most when when uh, when people are going to sleep, we're we're up running around. When we're when we are going to sleep, they're up running around. So right now, um, it's about almost nine o'clock here in the at night. Uh, nine that's nine p.m. at nine a.m. All right, I'm just joking around. Uh, it's. Anyway, like I'm just saying, it's it's been it's been a crazy week, man, and uh, I've been dealing with my uh, with some with some banking issues, banking issues meaning that um, my card is a, is expired. Well, actually, it's about to expire, but it didn't really expire. What happened was Bank of America actually canceled my card because I got an alert on my phone saying, "Hey, you know, uh, um, you're getting a new bank card, new bank replacement card because your card is getting ready to expire." And I'm like, oh wait, wait a minute. So I actually call the bank and let them know I'm traveling, uh, and that card that they sent out actually went to my American address. Well, lo and behold, they canceled that card, and once they canceled that card, it canceled the current card I have. You know, they they, they canceled the replacement card. Let's make that uh, understood. They canceled the replacement card, and then once they canceled the replacement card, just for security reasons, like quote unquote, like they say it canceled out my current bank card here in Vietnam. So it put me in a, in a, in a small predicament uh, running out of cash because I am traveling and I'm living right, current temporarily living in a uh, cash-based society. So, I mean, yes, they do have credit card options, very limited credit card, credit card options. So, yeah, so if, you, if, you, if, you, if you're coming to Asia, know that you're gonna be walking around with stacks, stacks of cash in your pocket. That's why you see a lot of people with backpacks and um, little, um, side bags it looks like little satchel bags stuff like that i do have i have probably like like six different backpacks and satchel bags all all together you know what i mean it just just depends on the day it just depends on on what i'm doing so you know uh yada yada but anyway back 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 to the story the story is so not having that my my bank card on me has now put me in a predicament of running very 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 low on cash and um um I did talk to Bank of America copious amounts of time, like literally, I have been in touch with them day after day, day after day, and, 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 and one thing that's cool about Bank of America, well, one thing that's good, I can't say cool, <laughs> thing that's good is the fact that they're actually on, um, on, on Messenger. So if, you, if you, so if you're having banking problems with Bank of America, you could actually reach out to them on Messenger. So I reached out to, reached out to them on Messenger after that. We chit chatted. I chit chatted with with someone on there for maybe about a day or two, till they finally actually said, "Okay, well, we won't give you a call." Because another thing too, if you're traveling, you can't just reach out and call someone because it'd be highly ridiculous if you start making all these international calls and your phone bill is going to be like super super huge, right? So you have to actually buy phone cards. Phone cards could cost too. So it's kind of it's kind of good that uh, that um, 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 Bank of America is actually on on Messenger, so they can actually call you. You can request that they call you at a particular time, depending on the urgency 
of the situation. So they finally reached out to me and they went ahead and they was like, okay, fine, we can help you out. What's, the, what's your temporary address there? They, they, I gave them my temporary, uh, temporary address here in Vietnam. They, 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 they wrote everything down. The address was a little bit long, so we asked to like figure out how to make it short enough where they can actually understand the address and get, the, get my new banking card to me. Well, lo and behold, they screwed up. They screwed up on, my, on the information. The card got as far as Hanoi, and then once it got to Hanoi, it, it, it got sent back, returned to sender, due to the fact that um, it was an incomplete address. So they didn't know where to send it here in Vietnam. So it got sent, like I said, to the, I guess the main post office in Hanoi, and then after that, they couldn't figure out the rest of it, and they sent it, returned, it got returned to sender. So now, thinking that they could send me another card, well, guess what? No, they can't send me another card. They can, but it's, but it's going to go to my American address. So my card now went to my American is the, the the other card, the third card, not the not the first, not the second, but the third card is now going to my American address, and someone there has to mail me the card now internationally for the simple fact that they cannot do it anymore because of the whole corona coronavirus pandemic. Um, they have canceled temporarily all international um, 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 shipping. So, lo and behold, I'm caught between a rock and a hard place and trying to figure out how to, how to maintain enough money until I actually receive my car because I have money. It's kind of funny to know that you have money but you can't spend the money you have because the money you have, the only way you could get to it is by a piece of plastic. <laughs> it's kind of funny, right? But yeah, that's that's my situation. So I've been I've been a little bit um, in a predicament all week long. And plus, um, you know, deal, dealing just dealing with other issues and stuff like that. When I say other issues, just, I'm meaning just life. Yeah, that, that's just that's just it. And, and also dealing with the girlfriend, right? You know, right, right, right. Let's say right, right. Okay, just so say right. Anyway, so schools are reopening. Enough about me and my problems. Schools are reopening. Schools are reopening. All right. Um, school uh, for 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 you guys who who want to actually come to Vietnam and teach, um, be teachers, be the best you can be as being a teacher. Guess what? <laughs> it's crazy, man. Uh, it's crazy. When I say it's crazy, look, you're not really a teacher. You're more like a babysitter. Okay, just to be honest. But it's it's still a job, right? And your job is to actually be the teacher. I try to teach English to uh, to a population of people. When I say population, population meaning that 90% of the Vietnamese community, Vietnamese, uh, uh, um, 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 yeah, the Vietnamese community in terms of Vietnam cannot speak English. And if they do, they speak it very, very minimally. And the ones that do, like the 10% that do, are the ones that probably either went abroad. I came back, and those are the ones that's actually know English. But 90%, just know that out of a, out of 100, 90% of the Vietnamese community do not really know that much English. And even if they do, a lot of times, a matter of fact, I spoke to a so so called English teacher, English, a Vietnamese English teacher. This this woman, she was like, hey, you know, I'm, I'm you know, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm an English teacher. I teach at this particular high school. Blah 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 blah. Right. So we're having a conversation. And once I got knee deep, like like neck, okay, let's say neck deep into the conversation, she was lost. You know why she was lost? Because her English level, even though she knows English, her English level is still subpar compared to a native-born speaker who could speak English in any different format in any different way. So, yes, she knows English, but yeah, but yo, yeah, much, right? So that's that's the situation. Even though a lot of the Vietnamese, a lot, even you yeah, say Asian Asian cultures understand English, you gotta remember unless they grew up or spent a lot of time in um, a lot of time in, um, in, in 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 Western culture, growing up there for a number of years, that, that's the only way they're gonna be know some know good English. But outside of that, let's know that if you are coming to Vietnam to teach English. And, and, and you're going to be dealing with some people who do speak English, know that they're not going to know a whole lot of English as, suppose, as you and I do, you know, as native-born speakers. 
But anyway, schools are going to be reopening on May 5th. They're going to start with um, the elementary schools and work their way up. Not everyone is going to go back to school right away. Um, only a few of the people are going to go back to school uh, uh, from, the, so like from the beginning. Like I said, only elementary school is going to go back. Then um, junior high, then high school, then universities. So it's like a stepping stone. They're not going to send everyone back to school right away. Everyone, they are literally going to just take their time. Uh, from what I understand, by May 29th, everyone should be back in school.